my channel. I am Neha Parashar, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we will see the difference between orange book and purple book. When a pharmaceutical company wants to develop a drug, they want to know what are the similar molecules available in market, what are the competitors, what is the patent duration and exclusivity left for any drug in order to form the effective regulatory strategies. Similar way, users or physicians wants to know if those drugs are therapeutic equivalent and which drugs can be used as a substitute to other drugs. So, if you want to start searching the available product or competitor approved by US FDA, there are three places where you can find such information. First is drugs at the rate FDA, second is orange book and the third place is purple book. You can find all the publicly available information using these three searchable online databases for approved products. In drugs at the rate FDA, you can find information about all the approved drugs irrespective of chemical or biologics. I have talked about this database in my previous video during IND application. Coming to uh, now the orange and purple book, there is a specific purpose of orange book and purple book. Let's see that in today's video. Purple book is used for approved licensed biological product and orange book is used to search approved small molecule drug products. So that's the different purple book is for biologicals and the orange book is for the small molecules. First let's start with the purple book. What is this purple book and what information it contains? So the purple book is a list of biological products including biosimilar and interchangeable products approved or licensed by FDA under the PHS Act. That's a public health service act. Earlier, this book is known as lists of licensed biological products with reference product exclusivity and biosimilarity or interchangeability evaluation. Now it's known as the purple book. The purpose of this purple book is to help us understand if biological product has been approved by FD under the PHS Act with a reference product, and if yes, then is there any biosimilar or interchangeable product approved? Also, if it's not a biosimilar or interchangeable product, but if it's a reference product or an innovator product, then is there any exclusivity for that product? So these are the main two purpose of this purpose. As you know, there are two centers from FDA which approve the biological product. First is CEDAR, that is Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. And the other one is CBER, that is Center for Biological Evaluation and Research. So this purple book include two lists of biological. The first list include biological approved by CEDAR and the second list include the biological approved by CEDAR. And what information does it include? The book also contains the information for example BLA number, non-proprietary and proprietary names, date the product was approved in market, date of first licensor, whether the product is biosimilar or interchangeable, if it's a reference product then what is the exclusivity expiry date for that reference product, information on the patent and expiration and if the product is withdrawn from the market. So these are some of the information which are included in the purpose. When you search in this online database, this is how the information look like. Then comes the next book called Orange Book. What is this Orange Book and what information does it contain? The purple book was for biological but Orange Book is a list of all generic drug approved by FDA. Earlier, this list was known as approved drug product with therapeutic equivalence evaluations. Again, like purple book, it contains information, for example, what is the brand name, what is the drug patent and drug exclusivity. The orange book consists of four parts. Approved prescription drug product with therapeutic equivalence evaluation, approved OTC drug product for those medications which have been approved but cannot be marketed without NDA or ANDA because they are not covered under existing OTC monographs. So, uh, these kind of products are also covered under um, the orange book. Then, the drug product with approval under section 505 of FDNC uh, Act administered by CBO. And the last part this book have is a cumulative list of approved product that has never been marketed. They can be for exportation, they can be for military use, or they might have been discontinued from the market. So that's the reason they have not been marketed ever. And these kind of products are also covered under orange. When you search in the online database, this is how the information look like. Maybe the font size is too small for you, but you can search on the FDA website and you'll find this information. So once you go to this online database, this is how the information will look like. When you'll see these approved 
that product under orange book you will find two kind of conditions in front of it first is product starting with code a and the second is product coding starting with b so you can see that in one of that tab that it has some coding the products have some coding behind it drug product with a code are therapeutic equivalent product and the product which are starting with code b are not considered therapeutic equivalent so that's the difference so this was all about the purple book and orange book although both the books look very similar but the difference lies what kind of products they include one book is for small molecules and the other book is for biologicals so in case you would like to understand some particular concept just let me know in the comment sections in my next upcoming video we'll talk about some new topic till then let's stay tuned Thank you.